What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm walking that family, my fighters, and one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm wicked or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the new trailer for The Walking Dead Season 10 C, as you clearly see Princess right here. So obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, we're gonna do the clips, breakdown, clips, breakdown. I think it's a minute long trailer and I broke it down into five or six clips. So we're gonna do that like we did before, but it's pretty interesting because there's some new information, new stuff, and it's always a good day when we have new Walking Dead stuff to break down. Here's the first part. The way they were. Yes, so it's Father Gabriel talking to Aaron, asking about, do you think things will go back to the way they were? And they have to, right? Well, they don't have to. The way the world was before the zombie apocalypse does not have to return to that way. In some aspects, it shouldn't, right? But you see Aaron and Father Gabriel are clearly connected on multiple trailers, multiple photos, multiple things, and they're at some location. Not sure what's going on here. Are they looking for Herschel? Looking for walkers, whispers, something else. But they come across a group of bones that were burned in a fire with, you know, weeds and vines growing among them. So I'm not sure how long they were there. I'm not sure if there's a bear trap there or something, but you clearly see Father Gabriel looking down. And this is the second or third time that we heard Father Gabriel talk about the way that things were in table reads and different trailers. The world isn't built the way we used to be. And then we get a little bit more stuff with Princess and our group in the Commonwealth. And a lot of people are wondering, is Princess a spy? Is Princess someone that we can trust? And I hope she is, because in the comics she definitely is. But you see the Commonwealth rifle right there, and I believe that's what Princess has in the thumbnail. So she tries to do something against the Commonwealth because they don't know these people. They don't trust these people, right? They have a bunch of people around them, surrounding them with rifles, bayonets, and you know, our group is outnumbered. So they try to do something, Ezekiel's like, all right, all right, Princess is probably putting up a fight and she probably elbows one of them or something and then the guards get physical with her. And then they most likely separate the group into different train cars. From the table read, we know that they're in different train cars and they talk you know, between train cars, but we'll have to see what happens with this Commonwealth angle. Is it going to be just like the comics? Are we gonna meet Lance Hornsby here? It makes sense that we will, but this definitely has Terminus flashbacks. I would love to see an A on a train car. I'm not sure if we will, but Princess is thrown into the back of a train car, she hits the wall and collapses down. And it's just them separating the group. That's what you would do, right? I doubt you would keep the group together, especially if you're going to interrogate them, try to get information. You wanna see if their stories add up, if they're telling you a different story or what, but Princess is clearly thrown into a train car. And then you hear Father Gabriel talk about the way they used to be and I don't know if it's Aaron and Father Gabriel sounding drunk, because in the table read, I think they've been drinking, so they could be hungover. We need a plan. We can't trust these people. And here's a great action shot of Dog, and I have to say, Dog may be one of the favorite characters for a lot of people. And hopefully he's in multiple episodes, not just one. Is he chasing Daryl and Carol on the bike? No sidecar for Dog, right? No, I'm just kidding. But I'm guessing if they're out together, Dog's got to run and catch up. Hopefully Daryl's not going too fast. You see Negan looking at Maggie. And, you know, we're excited about this interaction. We want to see how it goes down. And I don't ever think these two are going to be buddy-buddy, but they do have to coexist. But the big thing right here is that Judith is with Maggie. And we know that Judith likes Negan. Also, the cart back there with, you know, different things. I'm guessing it's a cart from Alexandria or Hilltop. And I'm guessing that Judith is the one that helps keep Negan around if he sticks around. Then you hear Ezekiel say, we need a plan, we can't trust these people. To Princess, because you see the purple jacket right there. And she's like, all right, let's get it done. I'm a person of action. So she does something and maybe knocks out one of the Commonwealth guards and takes their rifle and is probably running to the other train cars that our group is in. I doubt they're gonna be successful because there's probably too many Commonwealth soldiers. And the fact is that our group needs to go back to the Commonwealth with them to progress the story. And then you see the explosion with Maggie behind her. So I'm guessing they set charges or dynamite. And I can't tell if it's the backstory of Maggie or present day Maggie, but something's happening here. I don't wanna lose you out here. I know where I'm supposed to be. And it's hard to tell if it's, you know, past backstory Maggie based on the hair. But either way, I'm kind of interested to see what happens here. There's just no way to tell what's happening. But then you see Carol 
ripping apart the drywall. I believe it's drywall. And I'm not sure if they're looking for Herschel or supplies or her own stash or what, but she's frantically ripping down the drywall. And here's a great shot of Daryl in the water, probably looking for Rick, because we're gonna have more of the backstory when Daryl is out on his own looking for Rick. And you hear Carol say, I don't wanna lose you out here. And Daryl says, I know where I'm supposed to be. And this has gotta be some of the dialogue in either regards to Rick or Leah, which is a new character. And I wanna highlight that after the trailer because a lot of people are talking a lot of stuff about Carol and Daryl and Daryl and Connie and Daryl and Leah. He asked how his daddy died. I told him that a bad man killed him. And this is all previous stuff from the trailer. Negan making Lucille, you know, the birth of Lucille, baseball bat Lucille, and the Maggie dialogue about Herschel asking about how Glenn died, and we all know it's Negan, and a bad man killed him, and is that why Herschel runs away, or what's happening here? Because it sounds like Herschel is missing for at least some part of the episodes, probably season 10, episode 17, and then they come back. But Maggie is clearly upset talking about Glenn. And uh, she should be, right? I mean, Negan brutally killed Glenn. And I brought it up before about Daryl being responsible. And I mean, he clearly is. If Daryl doesn't punch Negan, he probably just kills Abraham. But there's no way to tell who's to blame. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's the end of the trailer. But I find it interesting that Judith is with Maggie and they run into Negan. What if Negan rescues Herschel? I mean, they did that before when Negan saved Judith, so why not do it again, right? The Walking Dead reuses storylines all the time, but the fact that Judith is talking with Maggie and we know that Judith is connected with Negan, that probably means that Negan's gonna stick around, and I hope so. Now let's talk about Princess, and she's easily becoming a new fan favorite, but she's one of my favorite new characters too. But the fact that she has one of the Commonwealth rifles, and then you see her alone, means that she was doing something and they weren't successful. I mean, there's just no way about it. They're outnumbered. I mean, there's so many Commonwealth guards, but I just feel like Princess is a person of action. She's funny. I mean, look at the line right there. I'm a superhero on my own. Probably, right? But a lot of people are wondering, is she a spy? I don't think so. But again, the show is the show and the comic is the comic. Is this Lance Hornsby right here? Looks like the haircut kind of looks like that, right? But it's probably gonna be some testy waters and then our group's gonna give in and everything will be okay, but the Commonwealth story depends on our group going there. So I just don't see them not going there. But the spoiler warning stuff we talked about previously in other videos. We got promo photos, we got potential spoilers about Leah, Daryl, Dog, Maggie, Connie, Beth, and Puppy Dog. I guess, right, if he's Dog, he's Puppy Dog. But a lot of people are really kind of mad about the potential spoiler and rumor about Leah and Daryl, about them getting together. And some people are pretty pissed off about it. They're like, Daryl is supposed to be with Carol and that's it. Well, they haven't ever been together. They have a bond and a connection besides a relationship. And do you wanna see that happen? Because everybody that's with Carol doesn't end up too well. And we all know that nothing's gonna happen to Daryl. He's gonna be the last man standing and we're gonna have the Daryl and Carol spinoff show. But the fact that Daryl's gonna be with Leah, what's wrong with that? Because it's not Carol or it's not Connie. Well, Daryl didn't know Connie yet. And at this point, I believe, Carol's with Ezekiel. What's Daryl supposed to do? Just be alone? Is that what you want? You just want Daryl to be the lone survivor, the last man standing, and then end up with Carol or Connie, right? But again, he didn't know Connie at this point. Connie didn't come around till after the time jump. So they could still get together. But the question is, if Leah and Connie get together, and if Leah goes away and she's alive, she doesn't get killed or bit or anything, and she goes to the Civic Republic or the Commonwealth, let's say she goes to the Commonwealth, will she be pregnant or will she have a baby? And if, or when I should say, Daryl is connected with the Commonwealth story arc, will there be a baby Daryl Dixon? Uh, do you wanna see that? Is that too much like a soap opera though? Cause it kind of is. I mean, The Walking Dead is a soap opera with walkers. I mean, it is a zombie apocalypse drama soap opera. But that's the trailer. That's some promo photos, some news, potential spoilers, breaking it down for you. And we're getting closer and closer to the return of The Walking Dead. If you can guys, please hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, I don't know why you haven't. If you like The Walking Dead, if you like our content, we post daily videos about The Walking Dead and various topics. 
Show us some love and support by subscribing. Hope you guys are all right. Stay safe and tell them, Daryl. Oh.